On today's Hitting with Kayla, moms are notorious for putting other people's needs before their own. But Kayla says that's something mothers should try to change, but the healthcare system doesn't always make it easy. Hi, Kayla Sullivan reporting live from my lunch break where I am about to take my chances at a nearby med check. This after my regular doctor couldn't get me in due to the fact I'm considered a new patient since it's allegedly been five years since my last appointment. Authorities are working to determine whether my allergies have caused a full-blown sinus infection. All signs are pointing to yes. Take a look. Ow. Research shows moms take their kids to the doctor at the first sign of a cough, but will wait until they are near death to get themselves medical help. I am working to break that habit today, despite the fact I may catch something worse in this waiting room. Med checks are known to be slow, infested with the worst kinds of illnesses, and the nurses will likely ask you tons of medical questions that have absolutely nothing to do with the symptoms you're currently experiencing. This just inconvenience is not free folks your bill will be astronomical but at least you'll get the antibiotic you're probably resistant to by now back to you oh it's a lot right it, it is i mean <laughs> it's adulting at its finest plus some and that's the thing i was bad at this before i became a mom and then once i became a mom it was like my checkups my health everything it, it just went on the back burner but it's so important and everybody keeps talking about how important it is to catch things early going to your ear yearly screenings etc but it's easier said than done as yeah. a mom because your number one concern is booking those appointments for your kids and then of course the health system itself doesn't make it easy you know I, I feel like I'll call I'll get put on hold forever and then they'll call me back but I didn't answer because I was doing that you know and it just it's like an endless cycle mm -hmm. so prioritizing your health is important I do sound a little better this was shot on Friday yes. <laughs> so we are slowly but surely improving here it's only midway through the next week <laughs> I mean you know we do what we can <laughs> Yes. My yeah. my wife is historically bad at that. And I try really hard to be like, you need, and mostly not because I care about her, but also yeah. because if she's sick, it makes my life way worse. <laughs> so, you know, part of that is like, go take care of yourself. So that but you can't be a good mom unless you are healthy for your sure. kids. And so I think the general, you know, thought would be, oh, no, I'm not as important. But in all reality, going to those appointments could actually be benefiting your kids more because now they have a healthy mom and you know getting but but that's hard because getting a sitter for the appointment you know sometimes my biggest concern is you know do I really want to get this checked out it's gonna cost me X Y and Z mm. it could be nothing and now it's gonna cost me all this money yeah. for nothing I'd be willing to do that for my kid any day but for me it's like is it worth it I don't know so it sounds like to me you need a mom accountability partner okay <laughs> there you it go like, are you signing up yes it sounds like <laughs> one of your non-mom friends needs to have you as an accountability partner like call me yeah and then let's practice call I me. feel like this is do, something do, 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 and I brought this up because <laughs> I was trying to practice no, she, she's, she's not, she's not going to that's exactly how she's it's gonna go am I, am I answering yes yes <laughs> hello hey Kayla what's up <laughs> Oh, you know. You're not feeling well? You hear my voice? Yes, you sound like Biggie Smalls. I'm going to need you to go get that checked out because you're too cute to be sounding like that. See? Oh, I'll like make the that. appointment for you. Give me your insurance card. Thank you. <laughs> and that's the thing. I think a lot of moms need that. And I think a lot of people out there, you know, it's a good reminder to put that out there. And, and, and of course, when I posted this video, so many moms were like, oh, that's so me. Oh, I need to do that. So I thought it was a good topic for kidding with Kayla. I but like it's that. also a dad thing. You know, I'm not trying to leave out the dads. Do you? No, yeah. but hold on. We are a little more, I will, I admit, we are either more inclined to A, either just say, no, I'm fine and continue, keep going, or actually go to the doctor. There's no putting other people in front of us. It's just like. Because a lot of times the moms, the moms are making are your appointment. Right, exactly, exactly. So now make her appointment. No, I know. Make calls know. appointment. But, and I will, yes, that is true, I should. But mm -hmm. her schedule is way different than mine for a multitude of reasons. And so it's like, well, I don't want to make something for her that's, she doesn't care about my schedule. She's like, you're going because I made this for you. Right. So, so then do you, you can't care about her schedule. You just have to pick up where she do is. Do you remember to take your medicine, though? Because my wife forgets to do that. She may go to the doctor and she's like, well, I got an antibiotic, but we're Well, I haven't been to the doctor in five years. Oh, yeah. I'm not so on now. medicine. Right. Great job. So <laughs> Good job, Kayla. Help. We need to help both of y'all. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Well, for more Kidding with Kayla, if you want to join in on the conversation, you can follow me, Kayla Sullivan, on Facebook or click the Kidding with Kayla tab on wishtv.com.